Okay, we're back uh, to Armford uh, today. Um, now, this is where Tracy used to live in Armford. Now, this is the house now. The couple have bought the Tracy's house. I've done it out nicely. But I'll take you back now to when Tracy lived there. If you look at the top there, go up. I can click there and go back to 2011. Now Tracy is living here now. Now the reason I'm doing this video is, uh, of course, this again brings me back happy memories when I uh, used to look after Joseph in this house. Now, the last video I did, Tracy was living up in Betus. But she moved from there then. Well, she was renting that house, but she went about buying this house because uh, she was established. Now, as a, well, I nearly said a job there. Now, I'm not supposed to say a job, but she's got a very important uh, professional job. And uh, <clears throat> this is why she's not on Facebook. And, uh, of course, I'm not supposed to be telling people, about, especially doing a video about it. Anyway, uh, she did well and she started buying this three-bedroom house and I used to spend days here looking after Joseph. I, I, I think he was about four or five when he moved down to this house and lived here then for about six years till he was about 10, 11. And Tracy then went up to... Uh, up to Betus uh, again, but this time where the colliery was. Uh, they call it now Father the Glow Wall because they built 200 houses up there. Anyway, uh, thinking back then, uh, I helped Tracy buy that house in Betus. Now, this house was central. It was, it's, this is down in Armourford, okay? Union Street. And Tracy wasn't happy with this house. The boiler had broken and uh, the roof was leaking and it was going to cost a lot of money to do it. And at the same time, uh, she wanted to move. Well, of course, a lot of these uh, new houses, now you get you get a scheme where they buy your house and what, whatever's left on the mortgage or whatever you add it on the mortgage, you buy it. Uh, and a lot of people go for this. It, it, it's a good idea, really, uh, because Tracy was stuck with this house for the mortgage and buying another house uh, wouldn't have been possible. So um, Charles Church, the name of the firm, was then, and they bought this house from Tracy. And, uh, of course, I had had a settlement then with my stepfather and I had a good few thousand in the bank. So... Tracy asked me, uh, she said she'd been to see a house up in uh, Father Glower, where the Betos Colliery is up there. And uh, she asked me if uh, I was willing to help her buy the house. Well, of course, at the time I was helping uh, Tracy and, and my youngest boy, Matthew. In fact, Matthew owed uh, two grand on, on a car and I paid that off for him. And of course, he was going out then with uh, a woman and uh, the child, and he, he wanted me to help him uh, get the house in Trimsalan, which I which I did. I paid the bond and all that. So I spent a fair bit of money on Matthew. But I spent a lot more on Tracy, because what happened now, Tracy asked me if I'd uh, help her buy the other house. I didn't realise... Now, I, I could have easily paid for the, for the roof to be done and, and, and the boiler, yeah. Uh, because this, this house was three bedroom. I, I liked the house and it was every... You, I used to walk from here to the pool with Joseph. I could walk into Tesco. Everything was in walking distance. And uh, Tracy then... I'll take you up to a bed to us now. Where Tracy bought the house. Everything was in walking distance, okay? And uh, me and Joseph used to walk this way anyway. 
went out to the, to the ward now in Ammerford. And I didn't realise when Tracy asked me to help her buy the house in, in, up in Father Glow, of course that's Welsh, okay? The way of the colliers in it. Because I'm Welsh, right, we're out in the main road now, we're going up now to where Tracy bought the house. I used to do this walk regular with uh, Joseph. Anyway, I didn't realise uh, how much it was going to cost me. Otherwise, I would have spent a lot of money. Uh, well, that, that money, the money I spent by interest in this house, although it was a four-bedroom house, and, and of course uh, there was a bedroom for me there. That's, that's what I did like about it. But I didn't realise... Uh, I was going to spend a lot of money because I, I could have done that house out in Union Street over two or three times the money I spent. Uh, but once I started spending money helping Tracy buy that house, I, I was I, I couldn't stop then because she she kept on wanting money to help her, and I kept on spending money, and I and I. I did like the house because there was a bedroom there for me, you see, and it was a four bedroom. I'll take you up where it is. Anyway, finally she bought the house, and uh, across the water, this is the way with water. I moved up there. In the, in the meantime now, Matthew, my youngest boy, uh, I hardly saw him, you know, I, I'd paid off for his car, helped him out in other ways now, and I hardly saw him. And he'd turn up now and again when he wanted money, which most kids do, of course. But Matthew wouldn't even phone me or nothing in the week, you know, he just turned up wanted money anyway. I told him then that I was helping Tracy, well, that I had by the time um, Tracy bought the house. She had moved in and I spent a good few thousand. I won't say how much. People will be shocked, the money I spent. But of course, we had a lot of money after my stepfather. Right, this is the uh, Father the Glow Wolf. Here we are. Going up here now. One good thing about it, there was a nice park here for Joseph. So take him to this park. He loved this park. This is where Betrus Collier was, you see. And if we go down here, hang on, I missed something now. Down here, I'll show you something now. Anyway, I told Matthew now that I had uh, spent that money, all that money on Tracy which was a bit more than what I spent on him. Oh, that was it. He went flipping off his head. Where's my money then? All that. But of course, I did it for me, you see. I, I spent that money so that I could get a bedroom to stay in Tracy. You see, you've got uh, the park there and you've got Got the disc here, look. The old shiver disc. Because this was where Petrus Collier was. Anyway, go down here now. And uh, Matthew there, what happened then? He, he, his girlfriend's TV broke down. And he phoned me up when he built by a new TV. And I did spend a lot of money on him, you know, but. Like I say, more on Tracy because I have to buy the house, and I wouldn't, uh, I, I would, I wouldn't give him money to buy the TV. And that was it. He told me where to go. That was over ten years ago. And of course, he stopped me seeing uh, Van Den, Van Denworth. But of course, I now see Van Denworth. After ten years, now I've started seeing him. Back then, Matthew was with his mother, but they split up, and 
we got somebody else. You see, this is uh, where Tracy lives. And I've got to say, they're, they're beautiful houses, but far away from um, Ford. You've got to drive everywhere. Uh, but they are nice houses, mostly four bedroom. I spent many hours walking up here. So Tracy's house. And I tell you what, loads of nice people here. I, I often sleep in Tracy's and go for walks around here. There's a lot of Welsh as well, mate. Even though it's mostly English. And I walk around here, right? And I thought, just, well, Joseph's 17, he doesn't go to the park now. And, uh, nice people here. Lovely people here. And Tracy lives right up there. Of course, they, you know, we're going back now when they were building the houses, you see. So Tracy's house is right up the top there. And I got to know a lot of people here. The chap living here, Jeff, was a nice guy. He was always walking. I'm going back now when I was walking and swimming a lot, you know. Although I do walk on the site now. And uh, you see these three houses here now. This is something like Tracy's house. And she's got a bedroom up the attic with a shower and everything in there. She's got everything. Uh, everything she got everything in that house, you know. It, it is a nice house. But at the same time, I could have spent a lot of money doing that. Half the money doing that house out in Union Street. And that would have been a lot more central. But at the same time, although that was a three bedroom as well, I could have stayed there as well. But the, the bedrooms, you know, were really bigger, nicer. And I, I got my own bathroom as well, you know, the three bathrooms that Tracy. Anyway, uh, I've started seeing Brandon after 10 years. Uh, Matthew's still not talking to me. Uh, he never forgave me for not buying him uh, his girlfriend a TV, you know. He, in the end, you know, long before he fell out to me or that, he he, he was going, going distant anyway, you know. He, he he just wasn't the same boy, you know. He he started smoking at the age of 17 and I could see then his personality started to change. His personality started to change. I'm taking it on the site here because I spent many hours walking around here and I made a lot of friends here. I made a lot of friends here. As Gaynell lives in there, hell of a nice woman, Welsh, is he? I was on about Jeff living up there. Well, he's moved back to England now. Yeah, got. Uh, although I can't walk far around here like I used to, but I can walk around the site and meet a lot of people, a lot of Welsh, like I said, and they're all very friendly. Right, I'll put this on YouTube now. Okay.